Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is the Mini Motor Speedway Mini 4 Pro. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. I'm also very happy to announce that we are partnering up with Zwinne Miasto uh, for these reviews. This means you'll be able to see a lot of products from their company on this channel. Uh, Dultron X, for example, other mini motors and cabo scooters. So stay tuned and subscribe for that. Uh, and it's a welcome gift from Zwinne Miasto. You will receive a 15, yes, 15% 15 discount on the Mini 4 Pro for the standard versions, the 13 amp hour one and the 15.6 amp hour one. Anyways, thank you Zwinne Miasto and let's get on to the review. And this exact model of the Mini 4 Pro is a special one because as you can see right here, it has been modified to feature two brakes. Yes, it has two drum brakes, one in the front and one in the back and usually this has been my biggest issue with the Mini 4 Pro because you can drive carefully use the electronic brake and the rear drum brake to get along in the city but this thing is fast it has a top speed of around 40 kilometers per hour uh, or even 45 type in your fastest speeds that you got in the comments below and braking with the rear brake well let me just show you the difference in this rainy cold Polish weather. Now I'll brake from 30 kilometers an hour with just a rear brake. I think the camera didn't catch it. Let's try once more. Now with two brakes. See? Way better. The faster you go, the bigger the difference will be. The main thing you need to take away from the scooter is that it's one, it's fast and two, it's small and portable. So for example, in a comparison to the Xiaomi N365 Pro, you have a uh, way more powerful motor. It is 500 watts uh, nominal power and 1200 watts peak, which gives you a better acceleration and of course, better top speed. Even if you mod a M365 Pro to have more power and more speed, there's always a higher risk of burning the controller or melting the cables or other things. I think the M365 Pro is not designed for more than 30, maybe 33 kilometers per hour. But anyways, that's my opinion. Here in stock, you can go 40 to 45 kilometers an hour. You have a lot of room for your feet, as you can see here in comparison to other scooters, which are small and light. Perhaps you have just a bit more ground clearance. And this thing actually has a big battery unit for its size. On the side of Zwinde Miasto, there are two versions. You have a 13 amp hour version, so 48 volts, 13 amp hours. This is a 620 watt hour unit, so it's already bigger than the 9 baht max. I had a range of around 20, maybe 25 kilometers would be possible in the winter at top speed. So these are speeds way higher than on the 9 baht max. There's also a bigger version, which is more expensive, the 15.6 amp hour unit. So 48 volts, 15.6 amp hours, and this has a total of 750 watt hours. So the range will be way superior there. Uh, type in your ranges that you get out of your Mini 4 Pros. In a summer with regular driving, you should be able to get at least 33 to 40 kilometers. I will be also making a video where I compare the ranges in the first mode of the scooter, second mode and third mode. So we'll see exactly uh, how the range expands when you drive slower. If you want to charge up the battery, here you have your GX12 ports, the standard charger charges in around five hours from zero to 100%. Um, the bigger ones with the lithium polymer battery could charge faster at a rate of five amps, so three hours and the battery should be full. But this is only in the bigger model with the lithium polymer cells. When it comes to controls and features, it's really simple. You have a high quality mini motors display. If you want to see a full tour of it, just click on the link here. I made a guide to this uh, mini motors display. And just a brief explanation, you have three modes here. You, you can accurately customize how the controller works, so how it accelerates, uh, you have uh, cruise control, 
and so on. And I think it's way better than on other scooters which don't have this display. You can already see that the, the handlebar also folds, which makes it actually more portable than a Xiaomi N365 and a 9-baht ES2. So this thing is actually really, 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 really portable. And it weighs only 70 kilograms, so it's lighter than the 9-baht Max. Uh, you can also adjust the height of the, of the handlebar with this thing here, also with Speedway branding. Oop. Easy. And then you have several settings if you press here. This is the kids mode. The folding mechanism is also really easy to use. You just press with your foot here and it folds and it locks in place. Very easy to handle. And again, if you fold the handlebar as well, it's more portable than the Xiaomi M365. Quite impressive for a scooter which packs double the battery size or even more than double. One thing I would like to see here though is a key because anyone can just turn on the scooter and start uh, using the engine. So moving on, there's a lot of Speedway branding. Here's also a Speedway, even on this part here there is a Speedway logo. Here we have a bit of grip tape so, so this surface is not so slippery. Here again you can see the, me the folding mechanism and sadly there is no rest for if you put a foot here but there's a bit of a metal piece here where you can rest your foot uh, which is which makes the ride a bit more comfortable here you can also see the stand the quality is good enough for the scooter there's also rear lighting which is quite bright as you can see there is no oh it's barely visible but there actually is a brake light here a flashing solution would be better in my opinion there are also front lights, like so. They're here to indicate that a scooter is driving towards you, but they don't, but they don't light up the road too much when you're driving in the night. And an interesting part is, it's still a old-fashioned solution. There is the switch to turn on or off the lights. Uh, happily, you can just leave it on, and when you turn off the scooter, the lights turn off as well. So. Probably I would just leave it on and never touch it again. <laughs> One thing I also wanted to talk about is comfort. Because I thought that when you have suspension in your scooter, it means that it's more comfortable than a scooter without suspension. And technically you are correct, but not 100%. Because when you have a surface like this one here, just regular good old fashioned pavement, a 9 bot Max, will be for sure more comfortable here because it has bigger wheels, 10 inches, and it has tube tires. And the Mini Pro just has a front tube tire and a rear solid tire. And this tire here therefore has way less grip and it's way less comfortable than the one here. The tires are also quite small in diameter which make it more of a sporty scooter that is small than a really comfortable ride if you want a comfortable scooter for like everyday driving i think that the xiaomi and the 9 bot max would be actually more comfortable the suspension though because it has suspension is good when you jump off curbs when you have bigger like potholes in the street this is when the suspension shines and there is actually front and rear suspension Let's ride on this thing for a while. And it's actually quite loud. And if you toggle all the settings to max, it actually does wheelie quite easily. Okay guys, so now I switched to GoPro because I didn't want it to make my camera all wet. And here we have quite a bit of a nice pavement. And here I can show you what I mean with here I can show you what I mean with the comfort on pavement because look how much rattling there is on the, on the steering wheel and if you would drive the 9 bot max here there would be like nothing at all it's not like bad but it's very twitchy even if I were to drive on asphalt here oh, it feels a lot better but still 
but still I feel quite a bit of shakiness on the scooter so if you want again if you want the most comfortable ride you should totally just get a scooter that has 10 inch wheels and tube tires and you can actually see we're doing 37 now it's quite nice for a scooter of this size dude it's so wet yeah it's one of these scooters where I can also just get my hands off it and it still drives forward <laughs> this just goes to show you how uh, nicely engineered the construction is and the wheels are also in a very nice shape to just give you the possibility to take corners really nicely really fluently yeah it's a really fast scooter for the city and if you have a commute that includes a, a train ride or a bus ride there is nothing more portable and faster uh, that you can get I mean not even close maybe it may, uh, maybe a wheel or a skateboard but all oh, that we can see yes front brakes works otherwise I would be already on the street <laughs> yeah sadly there is no discount for the version that has front brakes yeah and now there you can see uh, um, there's just a hole in between the street and the pavement and that is where uh, the suspension is really helpful because if you have no suspension then you will just get really a oh yeah and the rear mudguard it's perfect you will stay totally uh, totally dry when it comes to the mudguard I mean the rain is a different thing and the rear the front mudguard could be a bit tad longer here but it's still really really good definitely better than on the Tech Life X9 <laughs> and many other scooters all right so you see when you have these bigger bumps in the road yeah even terrain tracks it handles them better than small nuanced unevenness in the surface all right oh man this weather is really terrible as you can see street driving I can even like I can even like easily lift my oh no I can't <laughs> but I could if there wasn't a bump uh, I, I just wanted to show you that even though this scooter has really small wheels uh, you can safely like indicate the direction when you're going so like left right yeah it's really good at that I, I really wonder that it's the case here cruising speed around 38 kilometers an hour really good for such a scooter all is waterproof as you can see we are driving in absolute terrible conditions but you know you'll see here that the level is around 40 percent but uh, mini motors tend to like overrate the power you have in your scooter so now I'll just go into second mode yeah second mode is down to around 29 kilometers an hour and then I will use way less energy uh, over uh, yes yeah see turning is really nice I will use just way less energy see now I'm at 50% already so the voltage went up and when you have like a higher uh, curb to clear you can just do this and the rear suspension helps out a lot and because you have a, a solid tire in the rear there is never a whoa see <laughs> the rear tire is slippery <laughs> you gotta watch out for it if I had a tube tire then I wouldn't have uh, this issue <laughs> okay anyways because you have a rear solid tire you never have a danger of breaking the rear tire which is quite common on Xiaomi scooters uh, but the rear tire is quite a bit more expensive to replace it's around like 30 bucks 30 euro uh, so you need to be aware of that but definitely getting a new um, getting you a new tire is better than just having a puncture in the middle of the street right I really do enjoy this scooter it's small it's nimble it's compact and just get the scooter you can easily fold these things fold the scooter like in a second and you're ready for traveling yeah there's also no play pretty much no play in the steering column these things are a little bit wobbly but that's the issue you have if you have a folding um, folding handlebar all right green let's go see the acceleration it's really nice already 20 and this is second mode dude boom 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 
All right. You know what? I know I have enough battery to go home, so I just get third mode, hold the throttle at uh, 35, should be nice. No, I didn't hold it. And I'll activate the cruise control. Yeah, and the steering on paved roads, I mean, it's not terrible. But it's not as good as the 9Bot Max, like definitely. I also tried to make a comparison between the 9Bot Max and the Speedway Mini 4 Pro because they're at a quite similar price point and they're actually totally different scooters. And I wanted to show you guys the difference between a heavier scooter that has no suspension and tube tires and a lighter scooter that has suspension but a rear solid tire and just smaller wheels. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 pavement is not the best friend of the Mini 4 Pro. Train tracks, no issues at all. I hear no rattling, nothing of this sort at, at all. It's really great. And at 40 kilometers an hour, it's not the fastest thing on the road, obviously. But I consider it to be mildly safer than a scooter that goes 25 kilometers per hour. Probably with a scooter that goes slower, I wouldn't even go on this road. But when I go above 35, yeah, it's way faster than a usual guy on the bicycle. And... I don't know what. I, I just want to go home. <laughs> and still, if, even if you go like 35, you're as fast or faster than cars. It's great. Okay, and here we will have a terrible quality pavement just to show you how it looks like when you have really terrible conditions for a scooter. Oh man. Uh, oh man. That's bad. Ugh. In these conditions, when you have just roads like these, get an e-bike or a scooter with suspension that has wheels bigger than 10 inches. Oh, oh yes. Woo. And remember, if you have a low battery status, and I consider it to be below like 50% or even 40% on the on the Speedway scooters with the mini motor screen, avoid really rapid acceleration. Because when I did the range test, I um, I did that, did just that, and the scooter just turned off and then then turned on again. Oh yeah, and one more thing I would like to see here is either a bell or a horn. That would be really nice to see. Okay, drift time. Woo! <laughs> Takes up no space at all. So if you're still here, thank you. Please leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Uh, and I want to go home. <laughs> it's raining. See you soon.